What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It is Friday, but by the time I put this up, it'll either be Friday evening or Saturday, depending on how busy I am and if I'm able to get it up, right? That's what she said. But anyway, European Club Championship, we've got Musiala, we've got Jesus, we've got Nathan as well with the blocker skill. These have been overshadowed. I've already covered the player of the week, the standard player of the week. You actually get a free spin for this European one by doing the event this week. So if you want to do that, you can get a free spin. You can take your chance at getting Musiala or any of the top players here. They have been overshadowed by Messi, obviously, which runs for 12 days. And there will be more versions of Messi's coming, which we'll get into in a future video, okay? Uh, with the European Club Championship here, we've got a selection of players. So as usual, we've got around 11 players. You've got a full squad complement, really. Donnarumma, Musiala, Camavinga, Harry Maguire. No, Harry Maguire doesn't belong in that category, lads. Camavinga, Musiala, and Donnarumma are probably the biggest ones there. I did predict that Fermin Lopez was going to come, and he actually does. We've also got a left midfielder, a center back, a center forward, another center back, and center forward. And of course, we've got Jesus, Camavinga. Harry Maguire is in there as well, obviously because of, uh, of the goal he scored. Um, but again, you've got a lot of players in here that... I'll just hide this webcam, lads, because actually I'll just go into Nathan here. Uh, this guy is playing for Napoli. And this is your standard kind of player that you're going to have now, I think, where you either have, right? You either have, and I mentioned this in the last video and I've mentioned on my live streams. You are either going to have now going forward top, top tier players if you're going competitive and you're going to try and get up to divisions and, you know, pretty much trying to win every game that you play with a standard formation, standard manager, and a set player base that you're going to use, a set starting 11, right? These players are not really going to change the dial too much. Standard form, he does have blocker and interception, but everything else he doesn't have. He doesn't have acrobat or aerial superiority, he doesn't have heading, he doesn't have slide tackle, he doesn't have man marking, he doesn't have fighting spirit. So I think from that, and the fact that he only has 80 aggression, even though he's got high speed and acceleration, which are around a 75 mark, he doesn't hit the mark if you want to be competitive. Now, as I said, if you want to have fun with this game, all of that goes out the window. You can actually play and win games and pass the ball around with 75 rated center back. So any of that advice goes out the window, really, right? We also have Aminas as your center forward, goal poacher. Seen a lot of these guys come in now with high finishing, high heading that are fairly uh, good in the air. He's just your standard center forward goal poacher, nothing really to shout home about. This guy, Lopez, looks to be a very, very exciting player. 80 acceleration, 82 balance, but it's all about the pace on the ball. When he has the ball, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass. For a 20-year-old, I think they could have probably uh, left him a little bit higher, maybe 92 overall. I think if they'd thrown his balance up to like about an 88, there's no stat apart from ball control here that really kind of like sets the tone. Um, rising shot, one-touch pass, true passing. I mean, it's nothing that you can't get in Gabby unless you obviously want a player like this. He doesn't have his real face either, so that's a bit of an issue for people. Uh, he doesn't have a good face. I should say. We also have a Kanji from Man City. Now, he is your stereotypical center back, right? Is that he's going to have high aggression, high defensive awareness, and of course, he's going to have acceleration and speed plus 75, right? With the booster. Blocker, interception, man marking, area superiority, heading, acrobatic clearance. He doesn't have fighting spirit, but he also has man marking and weighted pass, which is big. Very, very nice player to use. Heading at 80 is a little bit weak, um, but he's got a nice height and a nice jump on him. So he's not a bad player at all to have if you get him in. You can't give any of these players uh, training or additional skills. So that is a bit of a pity with him, right? We also have a left midfielder and another center forward here. We'll just go through them very, very quickly. Um, pace, power on the ball. That's all you really want with this guy. He's a Roman flank left midfielder. He's got fairly okay double touch soul control. He doesn't have flip flap. He has true passing and pinpoint crossing and also track back and the lofted pass is quite low with this guy even though he has a uh, pinpoint crossing so nothing really to shout home about either there are much better wingers that you can get to save your coins and we also have the same with Ivan Yeltsin here 89 finishing a lot of players now that they're releasing have got 87 88 plus uh, finishing, right? Because obviously they've made the finishing a little bit easier for people that if you get chances, um, you can just score very, very easily now. Attacking awareness is quite good. His pace and power, not really to shout home about, but he has got a super sub and double touch and first time shot and one touch pass, which is always nice. Gamesmanship will get you a couple of more free kicks uh, if your defender is a little bit heavy on the, on the, the tackle button. And we also have Harry Maguire before we concentrate on the big boys here. Harry Maguire, listen, he's tall, he's strong, he's physically very, 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 very aggressive on the ball with that aggression and physical contact. Heading is quite good. He has inconsistent form, which is a bit of a killer on him with the C rating. Blocker, interception, man marking, aerial superiority, heading. He doesn't have acrobatic clearance, but he has fighting spirit. 
It's actually not a bad card if you're going to be sitting him in the middle, right? Similar to Delict, he's going to be your aerial threat at the back and on corners, right? So he's not a bad player. I can't believe I'm saying that, but as a United fan, it's, it's painful. You have to take small mercies, lads. Now on to the big four, right? So Jesus is actually, actually a very decent player because he's got heading, he's got acrobatic finishing, as well as one-touch pass, true pass, and heading. Uh, soul control, as I said, he doesn't have double touch, but excellent player awareness, excellent attacking awareness, good aggression, good pace, good power, good finishing, pretty much everything that you could want. Very similar to our previous player of the week card as a deep line forward. He's not a bad card to have at all. Kamavinga probably overshadowed by Bellingham as a box-to-box. -box. Very defensive, very aggressive on the ball. And a fairly decent player skill base set here as well with one-touch pass. He's also got track back and interception if you want to play him in a central or attack a midfielder role. Not as good as Bellingham, but still a very, very good consolation prize if you do not get Bellingham in the other spins. And if you get any of these players in your free spins, lads, it is pretty decent. It's just a pity that more of them aren't on A form, right? Donnarumma, one of my favorite goalkeepers. He only has 85 goalkeeper awareness, which is a bit of a pity with him. I don't know why he's not at the 90 mark. Awareness and reflexes are now very important. I think that this is a weak version of Donnarumma. It's a disappointing version of Donnarumma. Obviously, you're not going to be disappointed if you're just starting the game. But for somebody that has probably other versions of Donnarumma or other versions of Courtois, who's been boosted massively in the new patch, he's been a beast. Um, certain versions of him, he's probably not an upgrade. And then we also have Musiala. So he's actually down as a creative playmaker. Very, very nice. One of the best super subs in the game. One touch pass, first time shot, dip and shot, long range curler, double touch soul control, and super sub with gamesmanship. Phenomenal player in real life. Phenomenal talent in this game as well. You are going to have ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass and acceleration all into the 90s and, a and balance at 85, right? If you've got 10 hag, you're going to have the speed at nearly 85. So it's a very, very strong card with the 82 finishing. The only place to play Musiala, lads, in my opinion, is as advanced as you can forward uh, and an attack a midfielder role, right? So that is it for the player of the weeks uh, with the European. Top picks for me, I would say, are probably going to be Musiala, and I would say for me and Akanji, they're the three guys I would go for. The rest of the players, look, depending on where you are with your eFootball journey, I've said this once, I'll say it a hundred times again over the course until we get to eFootball 25, until they bring in other stuff that it goes beyond just cards and different versions of cards, right? If you have a set team and you want to go up the divisions, these guys are not going to be game changing for you. Game-changing players like the likes of Messi and the likes of them guys, um, you know, they're going to be the game-changer ones that make the game easier to actually just have consistency in your players at all time, right? These guys that you're seeing here, they can work, but they're going to be complementary to your squad. If you're starting off, they're going to be brilliant for your squad. Um, they're going to be instant game-changers that you can have into your squad compared to standard players. But don't waste your coins if you don't really need these players. That would be my advice. So until next time, lads, I will talk to you later. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.